Hello friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Heffy Doodle video. Today we are going to be using some brand new goodies. We've got the 2x2 two two Safari Animals with their matching dies. And we are doing this for the Wild at Heart challenge that'll be on the Facebook page, the Heffy Doodlers Facebook page. I'll have that linked down below. Uh, that opens May 3rd, but we're also going to be using the Wild at Heart sentiments. They go perfectly with our 2x2. Two two. And then I have this brand new Rolling Hills Landscape die. I'm so excited to use it. I have this whole scene in my head and hopefully it unfolds for you guys. Then we have some Heffy Doodle paper along with some alcohol marker cardstock. I'm going to start with some Blueberry Bliss cardstock that I've cut down to A2 size. I'm going to put that into my makeshift splatter box. I've got a little bit of distress paint in the color Picket Fence. I'll put a little bit of water on it and then I'm going to use this fan brush and tap, tap, tap that all over the top. It does do a very good job of getting consistent little splatters and yeah, they're not like in a line. They work really well. They just look random. It's great. So there's that. I'm going to let that dry. Then I'll pull in that Rolling Hills Landscape die along with some pumpkin patch cardstock, run that through my die cutting machine, and then I'm just going to cut off the top part. So they're kind of hooked together, barely. Um, and then I'm just going to cut that top part off. I don't need that. And so now I'm going to do a little bit of ink blending. I have some Rusty Hinge Distress ink, and I'm going to blend that all along the edges of my piece. That Rusty Hinge is like a brown, but like a, you know, with that hint of orange. So it works so perfectly over that pumpkin patch paper. And I know this kind of seems like a weird combo as far as, you know, like a nighttime using that orange and that navy or that blueberry cardstock, but it will come together. I had this scene in my head and it does make me feel like it's some sort of safari type night. It's just so cool. All right, so I've brought in some heffy tape. That's just going to mask off the upper portions of those hills so that I can get a little bit of blending right on the hill itself. Um, that'll just add a little bit of dimension to this background, which is super fun. And if this rips, which it will later, uh, it's no big deal. They easily go back together. They piece together perfectly. That's why I think I like this Rolling Hills landscape so nicely. It's so many options. See, I tore it, <laughs> but that's, that's okay. All right, now I'm going to do my stamping. So all of my stamping will be done using that alcohol marker friendly cardstock by Heffy Doodle. And I'm going to ink that up with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I've got rhinos. So we'll start with some W3 and I'm going to put that wash of color down on both of our little rhinos. Like I said, this is for the Wild at Heart challenge that's going on over on the Facebook page. It actually opens up on May 3rd, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek so that you guys can be thinking about what you might want to uh, color up for that challenge. Just grab your Heffy Doodle goodies and you should have a good time. So Wild at Heart, I just think that's so fun. Uh, and if you haven't gotten a chance to see all of the fun things that have just been released, oh, be prepared. It's all super, super cuteness. I had a heck of a time deciding what I wanted to use. So, cause there's just so much great stuff. All right. I'm bringing in some W4 and this next color is W6. And I've noticed with my alcohol marker coloring that I, it always looks like a hot mess before it looks like anything good. So I usually work lightest to darkest. So I had my W3, W4, then W6, and then I work backwards. So I brought that W4 in, and now I'm gonna see if I can soften that even more with that W3 and make it actually look like something good. Because right now that rhino looks like he has a weird beard. <laughs> and once we do some blending and everything, the cutter, a color kind of settles, it does look so much better. So we'll move on to our next rhino. I actually stamped out two rhinos like this because I wanted to have a little rhino on the inside of our card. But again, with that same process, W3, W4, and then coming in with that W6. And when you use such a dark color like the W6 like that, it does, it just brings in such contrast that, um, I don't know, it just takes it to the next level. And of course my rhino looks like he has a weird beard and mustache, but again, with that blending, it will work itself out. So my suggestion to you is always just kind of keep working and just see where it ends up. You may end up very, very happy with it. So then we're just using a Y color on the horn and then I had to bring in a little bit of pink for the ears. Now I'm gonna bring in the matching dies, tack that down with a little bit of that heffy tape and I'll run that through my Heffy Doodle 
mini die cutting machine. This machine never leaves my desk. It is always on my desk and I use it so much that I have replaced my um, cutting plate probably about three or four times. Now I am excessive. Obviously I stamp pretty much every day. So, you know, since I've had this thing and I've had it for what, a couple years, two or three <laughs> as long as it's been out and so I feel like that's that's doing pretty darn good so um yeah it is I just love this machine all right running all that through the die cutting machine I have the little circle so you could use that for the sun or I am going to use it for a moon and it has a cute little stitched border around it and off screen I did stamp color and die cut out those little hearts those are from the two by two safari animals stamp set I need to use a anti-static powder tool on my sentiment stock and then we're going to ink up our sentiment from our Wild at Heart sentiments with some juicy embossing ink which is basically just a clear sticky ink so that I can cover that with that embossing powder. It's a fine detail white embossing powder and then I can heat set that till that is smooth and melted. You can see it changing there. All right, I decided, at first I was thinking I would just cut out my sentiment just as is, but then I decided I wanted to cut out each of the words separately. It's pretty easy to do, especially with the guillotine trimmer. Just be careful and make sure that you're lining things up the way that you want them to be lined up. Or scissors work fine too. Um, in the end, I probably could have kept them together, but I do like it cut apart as well. I'm bringing in the little grass die, and I'm going to cut that out three times on my rolling hills. You'll, you can see it there. And then I'm going to take my liquid glue and I'm going to adhere this down to my Blueberry Bliss panel. Again, that's A2 size. So that measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I can just piece everything together. Take a look at that. It's starting to look like a really cool, like safari grasslands nighttime scene. And now I can glue down my sentiment. But you see the little grass pieces there. It's going to come in handy here in a second. And I just think it's so cute, the little details that you could add. And you can put those little grassy pieces wherever you want. I'll put my moon down, and then I'm going to tuck my little rhinos behind those little grassy pieces. I just, oh my goodness. And this color combo has my heart just going pitter-patter. Pop in that gray with the orange and the blueberry. Mm. Mm, I love it. But aren't they so cute? They're, high, they're just kind of standing behind that little grass. It just adds so much to that scene. And then I can tack down my little hearts. Thanks a bunch. I always need thank yous. And I thought this one was so cute. Then our card base will be some cardstock that measures five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter. So it'll be a top folding A2 size card. And then we'll just glue this last little rhino on the inside so that we tie our outside and our inside together. And then I can glue down my panel to the front of my card base. You could add some fun embellishments, but I'm going to leave it as is. I love this so much. And it's an easy mailer. So there you go. But check it out. All right. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And like I said, I'll have a link down below to the Heffy Doodler Challenge while at heart opens May 3rd. And I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.